Mikey. I'm the General Manager of Business Development for MSF Sugar and my role is really to set the direction for the future of, of the business plus the industry that we work in. Well the thing that we're trying to drive the business at the moment is to go from being a sugar business to really being a bio based business. So we want to create you know, bio products from sugar cane. So the things that we're working on right now is, is electricity. That's the first beyond sugar we want to make electricity. So we're going to be building a, a power station today and we're working on a new power station for South Johnson and then we want to roll that across the business. Beyond that, we, we want to get into make fermentation products like ethanol and then beyond ethanol we can then make other products that are suitable for the future. At the moment with, with, um, with sugar cane, all we do really is just make, make sugar. In the future we're going to make sugar, we're going to make electricity, we're going to make ethanol. We're going to, and when we, when we get to that platform, then we can start making other products. So we're looking at what other crops can we grow so that we can process that in the, the non-cane harvest period. So one of the crops we're looking at is agave. So up here on the tablelands, um, agave is a crop you can grow on the, dry, on the dry land and it grows, you get about similar sort of amount of biomass per hectare per year as you do sugarcane, but the plant takes about five years to grow. So every five years, we'll harvest about 400 tonnes per hectare and put it through our factory and we'll be able to make electricity and ethanol from that. Um, and we'll be making sugar, ethanol, electricity all year round. And when we get to that platform, we'll be making green energy for the local community. We'll be able to We'll be employing more people at our factory, more people on our farms, and more having more supplies of, of agricultural products to, to our mill. Um, it will then allow others to grow other, even other crops that we might be able to process, or we might be able to take other people's waste. For example, if people have waste bananas, we might be able to take the waste bananas and put it through the factory as well, and make ethanol and electricity out of those products. Um, I also believe some people will become innovative and they'll, they'll create small businesses around our, our sugar mills. So, for example, someone might decide they want to make a tequila out of the juice that we get from the agave plant, or they might make rums. So we'll be able to create smaller businesses that sort of go on the back of our, of our larger business. The two biggest expansionary places in sugarcane in the world has been Brazil and Thailand. Both, both countries um, make ethanol and they make electricity as well as sugar from, from, the, from the crop. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to actually go beyond that. Um, and I think that's the idea is to have another crop to supplement the cane and that's the exciting thing about the tablelands because we can actually grow different types of crops on this region because it's a it's a dry area that's reliant on rainfall so finding a crop that you grow in the in the dry areas that doesn't need irrigation is really critical and that's why the agave the blue agave plant is so exciting and you know we want to go over to Mexico we want to learn what they do over in Mexico and bring that back here but then we will be the first facility in the world that will jointly process sugarcane and agave um, 12 months of the year. So we'll actually be a world leader. This is the agave plant. Um, this is about 100 kilos in weight. The middle part here, that's, that's the part that we can convert into, into ethanol. And the, and the part on the, these leaves are full of fibre, you can see the, the fibre there, with, that's the stuff we can burn. We could also make cattle feed with that, we can make a lot of other products with, with the, um, the fibre, we could make fibreboard as well. So it's a very versatile plant, but the good thing about this, we'll, we'll produce around 400 tonnes of biomass per hectare. So that's not that dissimilar to sugarcane, but with no irrigation water. 
with about 600 millimetres of rain per year. So it's a very, very water efficient plant. It's, it's difficult to kill, um, doesn't have many pests or diseases, so it's a very versatile plant.